This is my nano reef in one month. Do so you hate waiting and you want to skip the hassle of seeing your tank crash or seeing your tank empty for months so it can cycle? How was I able to cycle my tank so quickly? Before we start, let's find out what cycling is first. Starting a new saltwater aquarium involves establishing a stable population of beneficial bacteria, a process known as cycling. These bacteria are crucial for converting toxic ammonia and nitrite into less harmful nitrate. First, I took this dead oh, sand. No. I had the sand in my freshwater tank for two years. I rinsed it and washed it in just normal tap water and let it dry. Though I would say live sand would be better. Second is live rocks. Half of these live rocks I had it running in a five gallon tank uh, with a pump so it was live just without a light. Two of these big rocks were actually from my old tank. If you have a friend that you can trust, you can give him your dry rocks, let it sit in his tank for a couple of months, make sure he doesn't have any parasites or any type of uh, brown algae or hair algae, then you should be okay. You can keep it in your friend's tank for about a month or two, longer the better. This way you don't have to wait for your dried rocks to turn into live rocks, which may take a really long time to when you're starting a new tank. Live rock and live sand come pre-populated with beneficial bacteria, microorganisms, and other marine life. Adding them to a new tank can significantly speed up the cycling process, often reducing it from several weeks to just a few days. However, it's important to ensure that the live rock and sand are properly cured and free from excessive die-off to avoid ammonia spikes. Third, put half of the water from your old tank or from your buddy's tank. Microbes are more abundant in fresh water than salt water, but beneficial microbes do live in salt water, and getting some from your mature tank helps. So for the other half, mix the salt and make sure it'll reach 1.025 salinity and fill up the rest of the way. Using water from an established tank can help to some extent, but it won't significantly speed up the cycling process. While mature water contains some beneficial bacteria, the majority of these bacteria live on surfaces such as rocks, substrate, and in filter media, not in the water column itself. Therefore, mature water alone won't provide a sufficient bacterial population to fully cycle a new tank, but it does help. The fourth thing I did was to put a sea chem matrix in a mature tank for about a month or two. Like again, check for parasites, make sure if it's your friend's tank, and leave it there. The longer you put it in, the better. Sea chem matrix is a high porosity biomedia designed to provide a large surface area for the growth of beneficial nice. bacteria. By placing matrix in an established tank for a few months, it will become colonized by these bacteria. When you transfer the matrix to a new tank, it brings along a significant amount of beneficial bacteria, which can help jumpstart the cycle process. This method can be quite effective in reducing the time needed for a new tank to cycle. Everything is stable, never had a crash, no algae bloom. Oh yeah, and always dip your corals in Coral RX or Coral Revive. Why, thank you. Subscribe.